and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, hello, hi, I'm Katie, and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. You guys are the best. So it will probably be a surprise to you because I haven't done a fashion haul in a very long time that you saw this video coming up, but I'm super, super excited to be sharing with you my first Zara haul of 2022. I have been in Mexico, for those of you who don't know, so I haven't been able to order Zara to my home. Now I'm back in the UK for a short while before we pop to Europe. Um, so we'll actually be going to Croatia next, which I'm really excited about. So I'm thinking already about the Europe wardrobe. But anyway, I definitely over ordered on this haul. So I'm thinking it's going to be split into two parts. There's loads of spring pieces in here. There's also a few like nice transitional pieces to go from winter to spring. Um, also things that definitely will like carry you through the year. So it's kind of like a very versatile haul. I hadn't, didn't just have like one season in mind. I had like lots of just, yeah, I got very carried away because there's so many nice pieces. So let's just get straight into it. Let's start off by sharing with you the piece that inspired this whole haul, which is this um, amazing like soft pink blazer. Now blazer is like one of those really gorgeous, classic, timeless pieces. And I think something like a nice soft pink one definitely can be worn all year round, but it's really, really lovely just to bring you like into spring. Definitely in summer, it's gonna be really nice popped over dresses. Um, and also like a really cash outfit like I've got on today, maybe like with a white crop here would be quite cute, just jeans, sandals. Um, it's gonna be really, really versatile. Also, I think like tonight I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wear it over like a nice jumper. Um, and then it's gonna be like a nice cream roll neck. Um, just take these sleeves up a little bit. I'd probably just put some like maybe chunky trainers on, but you also could pop a heel on. You know, but it's gonna be very versatile. It's really, really lovely. The size actually fits really nice. And it's kind of that like slightly oversized feel. Um, for those of you who are new here, I am a size UK 12 and I'm five foot nine. Um, I think I got the large, oh, I didn't, I got the medium which I'm glad because it would definitely fit like a jumper under their snug, but also gives it like that nice oversized look still. And this was £59. Um, I really like the colour of the buttons as well because they've got like the tortoise two-tone. I think that definitely means you can bring other colours into it. So you could easily do like an all black underneath it, whereas sometimes that wouldn't look so good under a light colour. I think it will look great with that. So next, I was trying to find a staple piece for the wardrobe. Zara jeans are definitely hit and miss for me. And these, unfortunately, were a bit of a miss. Um... I always size up if I go mom jean style. So I just wanted to get some like, these are classic mom jeans. Um, I have to say actually the length on them was really nice, which is quite surprising for Zara for me. Normally I find the length on the mom jeans or most jeans in there a little bit too short, being five foot nine. Um, however, the length on these was really nice. I ordered them in size 14, right? I just told you I'm a UK 12. But we all know Zara sizes are a little bit up and down. So I was like, right, always wear the mom jean. I just find them so tight, I'll get a 14. These are tight, like I, you know when you literally can't sit down to do your trousers? It was a little, uh, to do your shoes up, it was a little bit like that. So they were a little bit too tight, so unfortunately I won't be keeping them. I do, however, think they would relax and they would be comfy maybe after a few washes because these ones I'm actually wearing now are from Zara. I think they're a 14 and they're baggy around the waist. So it kind of is one of those things, I don't remember them being this baggy when I kept them originally, so maybe they would give, but I don't know if it's worth it. But for £27.99, it's kind of really a good price, but I know if something's uncomfortable, I won't wear it. So for me, I probably will send them back. I may as well talk about this top because I'm wearing it right now. This came in loads of colours and I'm definitely going to be ordering more. It, I wanted to try it on for the shape and like how it fit because I've had tops like this in the shape before. And because you can't really wear a bra with them, I mean you definitely could do strapless but I still feel like you always see it a bit. I wanted to see how well fitted it was and it's absolutely perfect. It's only 5 99 as well and I love the colour. I think it's just really like beautiful. It's a little bit of like a racer back. Um... Yeah, just like a really nice pop of colour for spring, summer. Pretty sure they have like orange, green and a few other ones. I will leave all the codes down below because I know with Zara, trying to find things on that website or their app is a nightmare. So all the codes will be down below for you guys. On the pink theme, I really am loving pink at the moment and especially this like bright hot pink. So I saw this and I was like, oh my God, it's a dream. It's literally gorgeous, it's so pretty. Um, however, it's £25.99, which I feel like for the amount of material you get, it's kind of pricey. Um, it would look really cute with like high-waisted white trousers, maybe some high-waisted white shorts, that kind of thing. Even like more casual, like the shorts, are, uh, sorry, the jeans I've got on today and then just like some nice sandals. I actually have some 
sandals from Primark that are like this colour that are really nice, they cost £4. Um, so yeah, Primark has some really nice like bits in at the minute to like top up your spring, summer wardrobe. So yeah, this is really, really cute. And I do like the way the back has a little like, um, what are they called? Corset clips. I just think it's like a nice little bit of detail. However, I don't know if it's worth £26. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay, so I know this kind of looks like a winter coat, but I was kind of thinking like more spring vibes with it. Um, unfortunately, the Zara coat, I find them, because they're so oversized, I think this is a medium. This is a medium. And I mean, look, it's literally drowning me. Like it's drowning me. You could fit two of me in here. Um, I'll just wrap it around so you can see what I mean. I mean, I know it's meant to be a little bit oversized, but this is too oversized for me, which is such a shame because I do think the color of this is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's gonna be so nice. Maybe even size down to a small, but I did have a small Zara coat once and I could barely wear it over anything because it was so tight around the arms and the back. So maybe I will try swapping for, for a small, because I do actually think it would be a really versatile, nice piece. I think this would look really nice over some like white trousers, you know, nice little like cream roll neck and then some like little, like those Gucci loafer type things. Something like that would look really, really like just classy, elegant, chic, timeless. Again, this coat is really timeless. Um, I just think it's lovely and I really have been trying to look for like a nice neutral coloured coat. So if anyone has any um, tips or advice of where to get them from, I have seen a lot of people share like lovely ones from H&M, but they've got a stock like that. And again, I find the sizing really strange in them. Like they're either just like huge, like hanging off me, or like I can't fit a jumper underneath. And because I want it for that like seasonal transitional time of year, I need to be able to fit jumpers underneath them. Because if it's summer, I ain't gonna be wearing a coat. <laughs> Next, I have to show you these trainers. I am obsessed with these. Now, Reese, my boyfriend, hates them, but I think they're amazing. He always hates the trainers I pick. I pick like quite retro, funky trainers, but I just think these are lush. Like. Let me know if you think they're disgusting or lush down below. Now, I've, the way I've styled these, I will pop a little video here so you can just see like how versatile they are. I think they're going to be great just for like really casual day looks, you know, like that kind of leggings, oversized jumper, cap kind of look. But also, you could definitely wear them like with nice mom jeans, like these ones I've got on here. Um, and like a little like black version of this, a grey version of this grey trench coat over you could definitely wear them like an all neutral outfit and you can even like pick up the colors in it as well it's got this really nice like sky blue and the orange um i don't know how much these are they also came with like blue laces as well which i think is like a nice little addition and the these were 59.99 which i kind of do think for like trainers is pricey considering they're not like a designer trainer brand they don't have a logo you know i always think with nike or new balance or something like that vans converse you're paying for the logo whereas with these you don't really have a logo or anything on them they do just look kind of funky and i i don't know if i think that's kind of overpriced my idea like as you just would have seen in the styling videos was to wear the trainers like kind of comfy kind of cash and um, but also be able to dress it up as well with a little jumper maybe like this and this jumper is absolutely gorgeous if this comes in other colors i might have to get it because it's just that perfect spring like an autumn piece um, this is 25 99 and I got this in a large. As you can see, it is quite small, but it's nice, that nice stretchy material. It's really, really soft, really like beautiful color. Um, and the back is the bit that gets it. Like I love just a simple little roll neck. I just think they're really timeless again. You could always, like they'll never ever go out of fashion, which is my favorite kind of style because I just hate feeling like you have to shop all the time or like buy new things all the time. Um, the back is actually like got a cutout and then it's got this beautiful like, lace set back and a bow and i just think it's a really really like, beautiful nice detail for like something so plain and classic just to have that at the back then you could wear it out in the evening but also be great for a layer um so when you like pop to a, a bar or a restaurant you could take your jacket off and then like it looks like you've got this nice sophisticated and then a little bit sexy at the back <laughs> i think that would look really nice with these jeans which i'm pretty sure i did style with those trainers as well at some point um so these i actually saw these um, on Nadia Anya and she's very short in comparison to me but these still looked all right on me I didn't I'm not going to keep them because they're not keep worthy however I did love the shape of them um, and for me I just don't like I already have a pair of this color jeans 
Um, they're kind of like that ecru colour it's called, I think. Um, and I already have like a white pair of like mom style jeans. So I just don't really feel like the need to keep another pair of jeans in this shade. Especially when I'm traveling so much. Like I can't have the biggest wardrobe. Um, so these are $29.99. And again, I got these in a 14. And as you can see, they are actually quite snug around the waist. Now, I'm not lying. I'm not one of those people that's like, <laughs> you're a size 14. I'm not. Like in all other shops in jeans, I'm a 12. Sometimes I can squeeze my ass into a 10, but Zara, I always go to 14. So that's just my opinion. I think you should size up in Zara, but they also have like this quite nice like branding on the back, which I like. And I do love the gold button detail. I hate silver. So I think the gold detail is nice. Um, and they just have like a, ooh, just hit my leg. They just have like a nice frayed edge to give them like that kind of more chilled, more relaxed kind of look. Okay, so next I picked up this really beautiful, like silky, it's gone so creased already, which is the only problem with these kind of tops. As soon as you sit down on them, it's like game over. Um, it's $22.99 and it is a large, I have to say again, like the fit is kind of snug um, on the bust area. However, this has got nice adjustable straps, which I always think is great for those kind of tops, just to make sure that they do sit right um however if you've got like a larger bust i would say probably go up to an extra large on that one um i don't think this one's got a zip no it doesn't but really easy again to style really really classy like elegant timeless piece and then it just like crisscrosses at the back which i just think is it's really pretty really gaily really feminine completely my kind of style top and could be worn in like a number of ways Okay, so this next purchase, I have been trying to find the most perfect pair of cream mid-high, mid, mid-high, mid mid-calf mid boot forever, like forever. The ones that don't look like you're a hooker, but also like are comfy, the heel is not too high, um, and they just don't look cheap. I think because cream and like that kind of material can easily look cheap, it's been really, really hard to find. These are probably the closest thing I've got. However, I'm not going to keep them because annoyingly, like when I was walking, they did pop off my feet a little bit. I did pick them up in an eight because I, I'm a seven wide fit. So I tend to, when I go for boots, go up, but then they were too big. And I think the other would be too small. So it's a bit of a shame, but they are absolutely beautiful. I think the heel on them is so classy. They really look like mango boots. Um, they don't really look that Zari. I don't think they look very like classic, timeless. They're really, really beautiful. And if you've been looking for something like this, these are just the perfect ones, if I'm honest. I kind of think with these kind of things, it's the only thing that I, I say like splurge on because you'll have them forever. As long as you look after them, you'll have them for years and years and years and years. And like, if you think about price per wear, even per year, it's probably gonna be like 20 pounds. They're 129. So even if you had them for like six years, which I bet you would, It'd be like 20 something pound a year. It's not even that bad. <laughs> they are stunning though, aren't they? <laughs> I literally think they're amazing. Um, I think they are real leather as well. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say about those. But unfortunately, they're going back. And I think while we're on the boot game, I'll talk about these ones as well, which are exactly the same, but in a suede. Um, and again, I was looking for that really nice neutral boot. These you definitely have to be a lot more careful with because suede, like, mark so easily especially in water so like rain um puddles mud those kind of things they definitely would mark really easily but they are absolutely beautiful the only thing with these is if anyone has a slightly bigger calf i don't even think i've got that big calf but clearly i do because they were so tight around my calves these are 109 pounds so a little bit less than the other ones um but yeah a bit snug around the calf which is a shame but these, again, are something that's so timeless. You'll just have them in your wardrobe forever as long as you look after them. I'm not even going to bother talking about these for long. I know these are really in right now, but oh my God, they felt like a big fat welly. You know, because I've got wide feet and big feet, I just felt like... What's his name? What's his name? Not Fireman Sam. Postman Pat. I literally feel like... I literally felt like a, a male delivery driver in them. <laughs> it is not the vibe. Um yeah they were just they're just not for me they look really great on other people and i do like seeing them styled in so many different ways and i've been so unsure about them for so long and i was like there's only one way to find out you buy them you try them on and you see because when i when they first came out i was so like 
how how are people going to style these like i just didn't know how you would style something like this because like, i've never seen a boot like this before like they're definitely this season don't know how many more seasons they'll be in if i'm honest i don't mind the black style version of these but this color is very like i don't know the way it is it draws your eye to it however these are in the sales so i kind of was like well if i'm gonna get any now's the time let's just try them i think they're 45 pound in sale originally 80 pound um however to know from me a very strong no i just don't even know okay let's get on to some more transitional pieces this is a beautiful pleated midi satin skirt and it's so lightweight it's so beautiful the the, the um, pleat in it is so like gentle and soft because um my body shape is more hourglassy and my hips and my bum like that bigger kind of area my belly pokes out a little bit as everyone's does um well most women <laughs> and normally pleated skirts like this can be very unflattering on th that kind of shape and style however this is so flattering because it's not like thick and clumpy it's um just like really soft it just sits really nice this kind of thing would look great with like a, ro a black roll neck like this one or like a long sleeve black one um brown nude white like all those kind of things like boots trainers you can tuck jumpers in so versatile i love midi skirts for this time of year um this is 29.99 and this is a large and however this was too big on my waist my waist is my smallest sort of part but i normally am a large in zara so maybe would have to go down to a medium in that one um which is a shame because i definitely would have kept that otherwise and that's going to be everything from today's video part one make sure you subscribe with the alarm bell button on and i'll upload part two this week because i don't want to keep you here too long um so i hope you did enjoy if you did hit that thumbs up if you loved my channel make sure you subscribe with all the good vibes and join our good vibe tribe and if you aren't already follow me on instagram and tiktok i'm at katie victoria holland i would love to see you over there i share daily styles of very easy to wear outfits and yeah just lots of positivity good vibes and also some self-love and some body love because we definitely need more of that in the world that we live in so yeah if you want to stick around i would love to have you here if you haven't also heard yet i do have a podcast um, and it's all about um, like women's empowerment and feeling your best self, living your best life. Um, and it's called Ignite Your Inner Goddess. So I will leave the link to that below as well. So I hope you will join us over there. Leave me a comment of your favorite video, uh, favorite item today. And I'll see you in the next video.